Good afternoon, Stanley Ernesto. Welcome. Good afternoon, teacher. Okay. Thank you. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? Bien. Okay. Sí, okay. You bien. say so. Usted dice que bien. Yo, según <laughs> yo. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Cansado, pero. Cansado, pero aquí ya con los deseos. Hoy tenemos la última clase. La, 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 la otra clase de la que faltamos la mayoría ya no la pudieron programar, ¿verdad, Ticha? Fíjese que ya no. Eh, hoy confirmé, pedí confirmación, ¿verdad? Con la administración y me dijeron que, que no fue posible. Probablemente por los horarios, porque como ya va a empezar el otro curso, me imagino, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿sí? ¿sí? ¿No les han comentado? No, a mí solo me, me, este, me preguntaron el otro día si, si confirmaba para el siguiente eh, módulo, pero ya no, no me han escrito nada. Entonces, por eso, porque ya se está preparando la, la siguiente campaña, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah. posiblemente sí, porque como a nosotros se nos prolongó por la cuestión de los asuetos, ¿verdad? Recuerde, el día 17 fue sábado, no pudimos tener clase. Y ah, sí. pues, ajá, y este viernes, pues fue a sueto el anterior, ¿verdad? Que ahí tal vez podría haber habido un espacio, pero como así de repente por decreto dijeron que era sueto, me imagino que probablemente por ahí viene la situación, pero de todas maneras estamos aquí, ¿de acuerdo? Sí. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, hoy sería nuestra última clase y ya sería la clase número 8 nuestra sesión de ahora, ¿de acuerdo, Stanley? Ok, teacher. Ok. Hello, Ricardo Flores. How are you? Welcome. Hello. I don't listen to you. If you open your microphone. Activate. Hello, hello. Yes. Hello. hello. Good hello. to see you. Thank you for being here. Ok. Uh, well, we are going to get started because I received some uh, mails. One of your partners says that he is, um, well, he is, uh, you know, in some troubles with his daughter. Because Christian says that his daughter is sick, so um, he's not going to be able to get connected today. But anyways, we're going to get started, and I hope that the others are going to join later on, okay? So I'm going to start as every single day telling you that it is a pleasure to be with you here in this uh, virtual class. And I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, okay? So here we go. Let me see if we're asset here. Okay, so my screen is loading and here we have, um, okay, let's expect that, okay, it is vanished. So here, class number eight, the welcoming is what we did today as every single day. We're going to have a short feedback, um, food pyramid is the topic for today. Also, we are going to be working with adverse of frequency. I expect that we can go over CAN, the modal auxiliary for ability and the wrapping up of the class. And here we have the objectives. I need maybe, Ricardo, would you please help me reading the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective, okay? Okay. A specific uh, objective by, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to today food pyramid. You will ask awesome learn how to express the food, what you like and dislike. Class objective to learn time. Tiny vocab, the tiny vocabulary is to ah, okay to learn vocabulary related to their foods. Plural, uh, pyramid. pyramid, 
Uh -huh. Chew with Pyron. Pyron chew with Aslan learn how to explain the food what you like in this display. Okay, thank you. Great. And here we have that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and the food that you uh, don't like. Okay, like the food that you don't like. Uh, uh, I don't like it. Yeah. And the class objective to learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and that you don't like. Okay, thank you so much. And we continue over here with the homeworks and evaluations. I expect that you are over. You are done with the homeworks and evaluations by today, right? Because I was updating your um, grades and well, both of you are over. So there is no problem at all. And remember that it is required the 80% as an average, okay? For your homeworks and evaluations, okay? In order to get your diploma. And we are here, okay? Week number four, it is section number five and the final test are done, okay? So here it is what it is expected as every day. Stanley is a little bit sick today. That is why his camera is off. But we have here that what we expect from you class as every single day that we have been meeting here is your bottom, your microphone must be off, yeah? And I'm going to take your attendance, your full name, your camera on, your active participation. Remember, we have the two chats available, okay? The um the one via Zoom and the one via WhatsApp. And always as we have been doing every single day in class, uh you hold your hand, you raise your hand, and also you respect among others. Okay. And according to the attendance, you know both of you, I think you have the required percentage and you have been working every single day in the platform, and here we go. We're going to start with the feedback, okay? So in order to go over the feedback, I'm going to show you the manual. This is what you have, okay? My screen is loading. If you remember class, the last time that we met, we were working with jobs and occupations, correct? For example, here we have teacher, bus driver, farmer, and hairstylist. And then we were expressing, according to our own opinions, what you think about the different jobs and occupations. I think a teacher has an interesting job. Interesting, remember, at the beginning goes the stress. Interesting. I think a teacher has an interesting job. I don't really agree. I think a teacher's job is boring. Uh, boring. Well, I think a teacher's job is stressful. Let's remember the words interesting, boring, stressful are adjectives. Why? Because they qualify something. Let's remember the definition of the word adjective. The, uh, the word adjective or an adjective describes or qualifies a person, animal, thing, or another object, object, uh, adjective. La definición de adjetivo es la palabra que define, describe o califica a una persona, animal, cosa o puede ser que describa también otro adjetivo. En este caso, interesting, boring, stressful are adjectives, ¿ok? Son adjetivos. And then we were working over here. And now we're going to go over broccoli is good for you. 
we know that all the vegetables are good for human beings. Yes, the same as for animals because that is what they eat. So broccoli is good for you. Do you like uh, broccoli, Ricardo? Do you like to eat broccoli? No. No, I don't. Uh, no, no, I, I don't. don't. Or no, I don't like uh, broccoli. Stanley? Yes? Uh, yes, I like I like um, broccoli. And with lemon? Lemon, lemon okay, lemon. great, excellent. It has a lot of vitamins. And here we have, okay? the food pyramid, but we're going to listen to the uh, to the presenter in the platform. And here we go, let me see where is it. Okay, hold it. It should be over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hold it. This is. Okay, the one. Now everything is ready. And here we go. I was checking, making sure that the sound was okay. Okay, class. While it is loading here, you have full pyramid. I'm going to magnify it. And now let's get ready to listen to the pronunciation and the instructions, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, okay. you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs. Beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, Lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I will. Okay, before we go over, I'm going to play it again from the beginning because I am interested in the pronunciation. Okay, pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Okay. It's like. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Okay, repeat. Fat, oil, sugar. Fat, 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 fat oil, and then sugar. Sugar. Okay. Sugar. Sugar. Cream. Sugar. Butter. Okay, here. We're going to listen Cream. to this group and you repeat, okay? Cream, sugar. Okay, one more time. Cream. Okay. 
Okay, listen. Cream. Butter. Cream. Cream. Butter. 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 Candy. 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 Oil. 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 Potato chips. Oil. Potato chips. Oil. Meat. Potato, potato. Okay. potato chips. Excellent. Mm. Now we're going to read this part. Meat and other protein. Another protein. Fish. Fish. Beans. 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 Nuts. Beer. Nuts. Chicken. Nuts. Chicken. Nuts. Chicken. Eggs. Chicken. Eggs. Beef. Beef. Eggs. Beef. Beef. Dairy. This. Okay. Beef. Dairy. 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 Similar. Dairy. Yeah. Dairy. 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 No van a decir dairy. ¿Verdad? Parecido a diario. No. En español, dairy. Okay. Dairy. 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 Milk. Milk. Yogurt. Milk. Milk. No milk. es milk. Milk. Como si fuera milk. una es suavecita. Milk. milk. Ok. Milk. Yo milk. Yogurt. Milk. Yogurt. 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 No. Yogurt. Como que es una yogurt. 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 Okay. Yogurt. Cheese. 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 Fruit. Now in this fruit. group, fruit. Fruit. This fruit. is bananas. Fruit. You know. Bananas. 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 Apples. 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 Oranges. Oranges. Orange. Strawberry. Mango. Vegetables. Mangoes. Broccoli. Broccoli. Carrot. Broccoli. Carrots. Tomatoes. 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 Potatoes. 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 Grains. Bread. Grains. Okay, here grains. we are grains in this part. Grains. grains. Granos. Grains. 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 Okay. grains. Cereal. Cereal. Grains. Crackers. Crackers. Cereal. Crackers. Crackers. Rice. 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 Noodles. Noodles. Pasta. 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 Now let's listen to the speaker. No, okay, he's, he's going to tell us some instructions. I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, class, what are we going to do right now? Okay, right now you're going to express what you like and what you don't like. Okay, from this uh, okay. full pyramid. Okay, so go over. I need you to log into the platform and we're going to go over the discussion. Yes? And you need to express what you like and what you don't like, the same as you saw, okay? 
que es stop, stop, okay, okay. we're going to, to write in the discussion box, okay, for example, but keep in mind, I'm going to share with you the image and you tell me what you like and what you don't like, yeah, for example, you're going to write from the first group. Maybe um, in my case, I would say, I like uh, butter, cream, and candy, but I don't like oil and potato chips, okay? Yes? And then you write it, and when you write it, but you need to, write what I'm telling you about in here. <clears throat> you click over here, añade una publicación, and then you write what you like and what you don't like, okay? About the word power foods, the fire that you have seen. But okay, remember to use what I like and I don't like. For instance, you may say, mm, but using your real information, okay? If we say, for example, I like hmm, cream, milk, and what else? Cheese. But I don't like yogurt. This is an example, okay? And I can tell you, maybe you would like to share about the likes or dislikes from your, your their relatives, the people in your family. If I say, my son likes... Um, Milk, yogurt, and cream. But but he doesn't like mm, butter, probably. Yeah. And this is about all the different groups. Is that okay? Do you have any question? No questions? Okay. I'm going to show you here for your better understanding. And is your life the pyramid? Okay. Because I like fish. Hmm. Be hey, I like everything here. I like fish, beans, chicken, nuts, beef, and eggs. That is in my case. But maybe some of you don't like uh, fish or some other people don't like beans or someone who doesn't like beef, yeah? Okay, when you finish, you tell me, okay? And here from the fruit, which ones from these ones do you like and the ones that you don't like? In the, in the case of vegetables, for example, Ricardo may say, I like uh, tomatoes, potatoes, but I don't like lettuce, broccoli, and carrots. Yeah, that is one case. Okay, if you have any question, you tell me, please.
about to finish class. Yes. Casi por terminar el ejercicio. Later you are going to share with the class, okay? Because like this, I like rice, potato chips, and carrots. I don't like fish, cheese, and bananas. Yeah? You're going to express your likes and dislikes about food in relation to food. Hello, Imperatriz, finished. Imperatriz, hello. Miss Imperatriz Elaya, did you finish? Imperatriz, Imperatriz, are you, are you there? No, Imperatriz is not available. And what about the Stanley? Stanley? Teacher, yes? in a, in a veget, Come, come, uh, vegetables. Vegetables. In, in a vegetables, I don't know what to write here because I like all those vegetables. Uh, but tell me one vegetable that you don't like, that you dislike. I, maybe uh, it is not here. But maybe you say, I like carrots, lettuce, broccoli, potato, but I don't like papaya. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. <laughs> okay, great. And Emperatriz? I like cream, beauty, fish, bean. I don't like candy, cereal, and crackers. 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 You don't like crackers. Okay. Tell me, Ricardo, what do you like and you don't like? Uh, I like chicken, fish, beets. I don't, I don't like broccoli. It's no blend. You don't like uh, broccoli and lettuce. Uh, I don't like broccoli. It's no blend. No blend. Uh, pepper is is grains. Ah, uh, grains in grains. Greens. Nuts, mm -hmm. Not. beans, beans on frijoles. You don't like uh, beans. No less, no less, no less. Eh, como, creo que son eh, pacayas. Mm -hmm. Mencionó, mencionó. Lo de, ah, ya, yeah, eh, pacayas are pacayas. Que, no, no less. 
Noodles, noodles. No, las noodles, noodles, noodles son los, los, los fideos. Pasta, oh. noodles son fideos, ajá. Ya, pacaya oh. sí es pacaya. Ah, you don't like noodles, you don't like pastas. No. Pasta. No oh, le gustan okay. las la, la pastas, um, spaghetti, macaroni. Yeah, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Yes, uh, I like pasta. Uh, uh, noodles, no. Coditos. Ajá, coditos. No. Esa clasconchita variedad. Coditos. Okay. Uh -huh. Pasta in general. And sometimes uh, it is taken noodles as part of the pasta, porque los fideos a veces son tomados como parte de la pasta por su componente. ¿Ya? Yeah? But in here, some people may like spaghetti, but they don't like noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. So this is what we were Okay, working on, yes, with uh, food. Okay, what you like and what you don't like. Very well. And don't uh, don't forget to share it in the, in the box, okay? Now, let's continue with this conversation. What do you want for the picnic? How about some sandwiches, okay? Right now, we're going to listen. And we are going to practice the pronunciation in that conversation, okay? Before we go over, we're going to uh, listen to the explanation on grammar. Yeah, some and any. Let's pay attention to this. And if there is a question, please tell me, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich, sandwiches, non-count nouns, bread, lemonade, specific, I'm eating an egg, let's get some bread, general, eggs are good for you, bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. 
Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? <laughs> However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion okay. forums. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share with you, okay, class? And we need to be very specific before we go over this conversation. Okay, this is what the presenter was telling you about. Some and any. Some is for affirmative and any is for negative. Count and non-count nouns, as the presenter very well uh, told you, count nouns or countable nouns are the ones that we can count. For example, if I say, I have five fingers in my hand, yeah? I have 10 fingers in my hands because I count one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five equals 10, yeah? I have two hands, yes? I have one nose, so those are count or countable nouns. But if I say, mm, love, I love you so much, I love you a lot, it is uncountable or non-countable because you cannot count love, yes? La palabra amor, ese sustantivo, amor es incontable, no se puede cuantificar. Por lo tanto, es non-countable. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿eggs are countable or uncountable? ¿Los huevos son contables o incontables? Contables. Yeah, contable. because you can, one egg, two eggs. How many eggs do you want to eat? One, two, or three. And you can buy three eggs, five eggs, a dozen of eggs, yes, or... Um, a, cart, a, a carton of, of eggs or a box of eggs, depending on the country where you live, yeah? Or if you go to the market or to the supermarket. So we can count them. But we also look at this in this part, specific and general. When we say eggs are good for you, eggs is uncountable in this case because we're talking in general. Eggs are good for you. Los huevos son buenos para ti, no dice el doctor, porque they have protein, yeah? Bread is good for you. Acá no dice the eggs are good for you. No, cuando hablamos en general no ponemos the. El, eh, como en español diríamos los huevos son buenos para ti. En inglés no, ya se sobreentiende. Solo lo pluralizamos y decimos eggs are good for you. Por eso es general. Bread is good for you. El pan, ¿lo podemos contar? No, podemos contabilizar eh, las porciones de pan, ¿sí o no? Pero el pan en general es incontable, ¿sí? Pero lo volvemos cuantificable cuando decimos uh, 
I would like a piece of uh, bread or biscuit, ¿ya? Entonces, tenemos acá, do we need any eggs? Recordemos que any es para preguntar y para contestar en negativo. Y es, let's get some, let's get some, or let's get some eggs. Sí, eh, compremos, busquemos algunos huevos, ¿ya? No, we don't need any, or no, we don't need any eggs. No, no necesitamos hasta ahí, o no, no necesitamos huevos para nada, pero siempre en negativo usamos any y en afirmativo some, ¿ya? Yeah? And then we have count nouns, an egg, eggs, un huevo, huevos, no decimos los huevos, a sandwich, sandwiches, ¿ok? I have some sandwiches, or I have only three sandwiches, pero ahí estamos siendo bien específicos. With the count nouns, non-count count nouns, for example, do we need any bread? Necesitamos pan. Yes, let's get some. Sí, vamos a buscar algo. Compremos algo de pan. No, we don't need any. No, no necesitamos, no necesitamos nada de pan. And then non-count nouns are, for example, bread, lemonade, milk, ¿ya? Yeah? Pero estos se pueden volver cuantificables, ¿sí? O partitivos, porque de toda la generalidad tomamos solo una parte. In some books, you're going to find them as partitives. Los van a encontrar como partitivos, pero son los no contables ya cuando los cuantificamos. For example, uh, lemonade is in general. No se puede cuantificar. ¿Te gusta la limonada? Yes, I do. I like lemonade. But you say, I would like to have a glass of lemonade. Sí, ahí ya lo volvemos cuantificable porque yo solo quiero un vaso con limonada. ¿De acuerdo? And then we have an specific. I am eating an egg. Me estoy comiendo un huevo. Lo estamos particularizando, volviendo lo específico. Let's get some bread. Okay, vamos a comprar o oh, busquemos eh, pan. Some, vamos a decir un poco de pan, pero nosotros no decimos vamos a buscar un poco de pan en español. Decimos compremos o busquemos pan. Yes, voy a ir a comprar pan. Ya. Yeah? Okay, questions about this. Preguntas sobre esto? No questions. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to practice this conversation. Adam and, Mama, and Amanda. So it means that Imperatriz is going to practice twice. And here we go. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And uh, let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Now, uh, Stanley, you're going to read Adam and Emperatriz, you're going to read Amanda, okay? Let's begin. One, two, three. Stanley? Okay, okay. What do you want for the picnic? Oh, well, I want some sandwich. Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't? Have any cheese? Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's put some potato salad. Salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, very well. Now. Let's imagine that two men are going to uh, prepare a picnic, yeah? Stanley, you read Adam, and you continue, Ricardo. You read what Amanda says, okay? Let's begin. One, two, three. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. Oh, I bought some sandwich. Uh. Al revés, teacher. No. Stanley, Stanley is going to start. 
and Ricardo is going to continue. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Okay, Ricardo, otherwise you lose okay. the turn. Oh, si no pierde el turno, ya vio aquí, okay? Willing to okay. practice. Okay, one, two, three. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, hope about some sandwiches. Okay, we had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And, and we don't have and cherish it. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, now please repeat after me. What do you want for the picnic? What do what you, do you want, want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Hmm. How about, How about some, some sandwiches? sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken. Okay, okay we, we have, have some chicken, chicken. In, the mm. in the refrigerator. In, in the, the refrigerator. refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. But we but don't, we don't have, have any, any bread. bread. Any bread. Any bread. And okay. we don't have any cheese. And, and we, we don't have, don't have any, any, cream. any cream. Any cheese. Any cheese. Any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Do we Do have we any, have any, any cream? Cream? drinks? No, we need some. No, no we, we need, need some. some. All right. All right. All right. Let's get some lemonade. Let's, let's get, get some, some lemonade. lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. And let's, and some let's buy some, some potato, potato, potato salad. salad. Sure. 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 Everyone likes potato salad. Every, everyone everyone likes like potato, potato salad. salad. Potato salad. Okay, repeat after potato me. Salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Cake. 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 Pie. 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 Cookies. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, over here, some and any, count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. Do we need some need? Uh, do we, boy, no, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Again, count nouns, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. Non count nouns, bread, lemonade. The specific, I am eating an egg, an egg is a specific. Let's get some bread. In general, we have eggs are good for you, bread is good for you. Yeah. And then, right now, class, we're going to complete this conversation. Okay. Let's complete the conversation at page 59 with some or any. Let's begin. And uh, here we go. Okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some or any. Some. Some. Uh -huh, because we're referring to lemonade. Yes. Let's make some. Hagamos un poco. Hagamos algo de limonada. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Yeah, well, we have lots of potato. Ah, entonces es la ensalada de papas. Okay, some. I, I was thinking about lemonade. Okay, do we have some or some. any mayonnaise? Some. Pero como es pregunta. Any. Any. Ajá. Do we have any lemon, uh, mayonnaise? No, we don't have, no, we need to buy. Some. Some, very well. 
and full stop. We need full stop there. Yeah. Then we have the store doesn't have any potatoes, any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need onions too. Any? Mm, no, because it is not any. a question. I, some. Uh -huh. Some. Okay. Algunas cebollas, yeah? You're not being specific. You are specific when you say we need two onions, three onions. Necesitamos dos, tres, cuatro cebollas, okay? We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want, como es negativo, some or any? Any. Any onions, okay? Ah, yo no quiero cebollas. I hate onions. This is an extreme way to say, I dislike onions, yeah? I Odio know. las cebollas. No me gustan las cebollas. I dislike onions. I hate onions. Now think about a food that you hate, that you really, really dislike. Algo que ustedes detestan. Comer. Mm -hmm. Not even free, you eat it. Ni siquiera regalado lo comen. I hate onions. You may say, I hate blah, blah. What you dislike, you really, really dislike to eat. ¿Qué es lo que realmente le, le desagrada, le disgusta comer? Tell me something and you say, I hate blah, blah. And you mention what you don't like. I hate noodles. Oh, really? You hate noodles? Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ricardo, tell me something that you hate to eat. I, I heard the cebolla. Onions. I no, hate onions. onions. Uh, or uh, garlic. Or garlic. Or ajo. Uh, uh, and two. <laughs> <laughs> I hate onions and garlic. Pero el pan con ajo bien se lo come, ¿verdad? Ahí se lo come la gente. But uh, you may say, I hate uh, garlic in soups or in the food. Que odia, pero los, 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 los caps of... Uh, Ay, garlic, ya. Yeah. Los, los dientes de ajo son los que odian. But uh, you love, I love eating um, garlic uh, bread. Okay? Pan con ajo, lo amo, dice mucha gente. Emperatriz, tell me something that you hate to eat. Mm, este, los dulces. Candies. What? You hate candies. Mm. Really miss. Sí. Okay, she hates candies, believe it or not. That, but that's good for you, <laughs> for your health. Okay, let's continue. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get celery. You know the meaning of celery. This is celery, apio. Yeah, then let's get some or any celery. Some. Some, because it is affirmative. Some celery, very well. No, I don't want some or any. Any. Any, because it is negative, yeah? Then um, we say any. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put apples in it. Any or some? Some, porque es algunas. Manzana. Okay, it is affirmative, some. yeah. Some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Ah, you know awful? Oh, disgusting. Uh, eso suena horrible. <laughs> Not feo. A according to Amanda. Now, <laughs> please repeat after me. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Well, well we, have we have lots, lots of, of potatoes. potatoes. Let's, let's make some. Let's, let's make, some. make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, okay. Do, do we, we have any, any mayonnaise? mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. No, no we to need, need some. Buy some. Okay. 
uh, we need some onions too. We need we some need some onions, onions too. 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 Oh, I don't want any onions. Oh, oh I don't. I don't want, want any, any onions. onions. I like onions. 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 I hate onions. I, I hate onions. onions. I hate onions. Very good. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Then let's, then let's get have some, some ce celery. Celery. No, celery. I uh -huh. no, I don't want any celery. No, no I, I don't, don't want, want any, any celery. celery. In my potato salad. In, in my, my potato, potato salad. salad. But let's put some apples in it. But but, but let's, let's put, put some, some apple in, in, in its apples. In its apple. Apples. Apples in potato salad. Apple in apple potato in salad. Apple in potato salad. That sounds awful. That, that sounds sound awful. awful. That awful. sounds awful. Okay, very awful. well. Now we have again Amanda and Adam. Let's get this started. Stanley, are you there? Stanley. Yes. Okay, yes. Stanley, you read uh, Adam. And okay. Emperatriz, you read Amanda. Okay, one, two, three, okay. begin. Okay. The, the story don't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want I don't want any celery in my potato potato salad, but let's put some apples in it. Apple in potato salad? That's so awful. Awful, okay, pretty awful. good. Now, Ricardo, you are going to read uh, Adam and Emperatriz one more time, Amanda. Okay. okay. The the story dance don't have any doesn't have any potato salad. Well, 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 we have loves a uh, potato. Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some omnus. Two? Oh, I don't want any mean onions. I uh, hate onions. D, let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some, some apple in it. Apples in potato salad. That's second awful. That sounds awful. Sounds that, that sounds, sounds awful. Awful. That awful. 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 Okay. Awful. Uh welcome, Carlos Luis. Do you feel better? Se siente mejor, yes. Carlos? Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining, but your throat is not good, okay? Thank you for joining. So um I don't know if you have any question about this conversation. No? Okay, now we're going to write the list of what we need in the refrigerator. Let's do it as a brainstorm, but remember that what we are going to be writing class, we are going to write it in the discussion box. Is that okay? In the discussion box here, I'm going to show you, okay? So we do it as a brainstorming, but remember, you have to write it in the platform, on the platform, actually. OK? 
que here, añade una publicación. You click over there and then we get started because we're going to write what we need in the refrigerator as in the example. And we're going to use the countable and the uncountable nouns, okay? And then we say we need to buy. Okay, tell me, what do you think we need to buy? Let's imagine that we need to go to the supermarket and we open the refrigerator and what do we need, class? Tell me, I'm going to be your secretary right now, okay? We over here. Okay, class, what do we need? We need to buy Okay, what do we need to buy? Hello? Uh, let's see if we need to buy some. We need to buy some butter. But we don't need to buy any milk, yeah? For example, we need to buy some butter, but we don't need to buy any milk because we have enough. I know what happened here. Mm -hmm. I... This is one sentence, okay? Another one? Another sentence, class? Hello. What else do we need to buy at home? I mean at the supermarket for a home. I gave you one example. We need to home, buy some. Home, okay, home. we need to buy. We need to buy some oh. oil or any oil. Oil. Yes, but some or any. We need to buy some oil. Or any oil, aceite, necesitamos comprar sí. some or any. ¿Cuál es la palabra a utilizar? Some. Some, some. oil, excellent. And now tell me something that we don't need to buy, but we don't, um, but we don't need to buy, we, but we don't need to buy what happened here i know what's going on we need to buy some oil but we don't need to buy tell me something we don't need to buy we need to buy some oil but we don't need to buy cereal some or any cereal any, any. Any, any cereal, cereal, very well. Any cereal. Okay. Excellent. One more thing that we need to buy. We need to buy some potatoes. Some potatoes. potatoes. And something else. And Algo más que necesitemos comprar? Tomato. And some tomatoes. But we don't need to buy onions. Onion. Some <laughs> onions or any onions? Any onions. Any onions, <laughs> any onions and garlics. <laughs> y ajos. Y la, la mamá o la esposa les va a decir, ¿Eh? why didn't you bring or buy the onions and garlic? That is the taste for the food. Si es el sabor eh. para la comida. Ajá. <laughs> okay. It's the awful. Oh, because it's awful, you're going to answer very well. Or you say, because I hate them. Porque I los chance. odio, los detesto. Ajá. Yes. Okay, what else do we need to buy, class? We need to buy... Coca-Cola. 
<gasps> some coke or any coke. Some, some, Ay, some. Oh, sí, verdad. <laughs> the happy smile, venom. <laughs> some coke. Uh huh. But we don't um, need to buy. Okay, it is urgent that we buy some coke, but something that we don't need to candy. buy. Candy. To buy any candy. Any, any candy. candy. Any candy. Very well. Excellent. Okay, I think they are enough. Now type them in the discussion box. Okay. And then you tell me when you finish. Remember? In the in the one that I told you, okay? It is actually, let me see, in 4.3. Okay. In the platform, on the platform, on the platform. seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people When you finish, please tell me, okay? So we can continue with the other activity.
Hey, nothing has been published yet. No han publicado todavía ninguno de ustedes, ¿ok? I'm waiting for that. Hey, while you are working on that, I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance. Is that okay, class? Okay. Let's see. Alexander Nieto, always absent. Ana Margarita, always absent. Antonio de Jesús Quintanilla is absent. Carlos Luis. Present. Thank you. Christian, he is absent. His daughter is sick. He says, Emperatriz. Present teacher. Here, thank you. Fátima, absent. Fernando Antonio, absent. Glenda, absent. Jennifer, absent. Jose Francisco. Juan Antonio. Luis Audiel. Naomi. Ricardo José Flores, Present. Ricardo José, thank you, Stan Lira, over here. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Walter, and Jasmine, okay, great, thank you. Okay, class, you tell me when you finish, okay, so we can move. To the other uh, practice. See, first of all, over here. Okay, two more minutes to finish that activity class, okay? Okay, group, let's continue. And here we go, okay? I celebrate that you work very hard. Now let's continue with our manual. We're going to have this pronunciation exercise, okay? 
Please repeat after me, class. What do you need? Eggs and sandwiches. What do you need? What do you need? Don't count now. Do you Those need any fruits? Do you need any fruits? For example, I need liquids, some bread and some fish. Water, I need some bread and some fish. Yes, I want some bananas. Yes, yes, I want, I want some bananas. bananas. Okay. What do you need? What, what do, you, do need? you need? I need some bread and some fish. I, I need, need some, some bread, bread and some, some fish. fish. Do you need any fruit? Do, do you, you need, need any fruit? fruit? Yes, I want some bananas. Yes, I want that some bananas. Want bananas. Okay, now I'm going to ask you and you answer to me. Then you ask me and I answer. Let's see, Stanley, what do you need? I need some bread and some feet. Okay, very well. Now you ask me, what do you need? Just ask me the question. Some. What uh, do you need? Tell me, ask me. Uh, what do you need? I need some uh, fish and some lemons. Okay. Ahora ustedes van a hacer la pregunta, okay. pero no van a contestar con esta respuesta. Van a lo que ustedes necesitan para cocinar. Okay. Only this question. Let's begin. Uh, Stanley, ask the question to Emperatriz. Okay. Emperatriz, what do you need? I need some bread. Uh, I need some garlic okay, and onions. And onions, okay. But to sell, pero para vender. No, Beatriz, you ask the question to Ricardo. What do you need? Ricardo? I, yes. I need uh, oil in potato. Potatoes. 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 Uh -huh. Only now, in potatoes. Okay, now you, Ricardo, ask the question to Carlos. Mr. Carlos, what do you need? I need some uh, stick and some <clears throat> tomato. Steak. Okay, steak. Now the next question. Ah, no, Carlos, you are going to ask Stanley. What do you need? Okay, Stanley, what do you need? Okay. I need some soda and potato chips. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw popcorn you were going to ask. Now let's think about fruits. The second question. Do you need any fruit? In this example, you have, yes, I need some bananas, but you have to change the fruit, okay? Uh, let's see, Emperatriz, ask me the question. Do you need any fruit? Ask me, you ask me, Emperatriz. Do you need any fruits? Yes, I want some uh, strawberries, okay? Okay. Okay, so you need to change the name of the fruit. Now, Emperatriz, begin. Ask the question to Ricardo. Do you need any fruits? Ricardo? Great. Ricardo, the microphone. Okay. Yes, I I want some apples. Apples, okay. Now okay. you, Ricardo, ask the question to Stanley. I am hungry. <laughs> Stanley, do you need a fruit? Yes, I want some grapes. Some grapes. Now you, Stanley, ask the question to Emperatriz. Okay. Do you do you need any fruit? Yes, I want some beer. Pears. 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 And I think uh, Carlos is sick of his throat. <clears throat> Carlos está bastante malo de la garganta, so maybe he's not going to be able to talk. Now here, what do you have for breakfast? 
Here, class, we're going to work at page 60, okay? And then, uh, what do you have for breakfast? The UA, in the U.S., they have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly, okay? And in Japan, here, they have fish, rice, soup, soup, okay? Pickles, um, the pickles, what are the pickles? And a green tea. In Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread. They say sweet bread, but mm -hmm. coffee with milk, okay? So it is your turn because here, what do you have for breakfast? You have to check the foods. It can be because it is a mixture, yeah? Sometimes from the U.S., Japan, and Mexico. You have to tick to check, okay? the foods that you have for breakfast. What else do you have for breakfast, okay? For example, in my case, I would check eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange Let's juice, coffee, jam, jelly, breakfast. and also breakfast. maybe green tea. And in here, okay. eggs, beans, tortillas, right. fresh fruits with bread, coffee That's with milk, breakfast. yes. Uh-huh. For breakfast, okay? For breakfast, para el desayuno. Uh, and the same. Uh -huh. So okay. you check the ones that you might have or that we yeah. have here That's in our good. country. Right. Hello? Breakfast, the desayuno. Eh, coffee, ooh, orange juice. 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 Orange juice, orange juice. Orange juice. Sometimes people first drink the orange juice at the beginning and then they continue with the coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, one minute to do that. So you think about. And then we're going to be asking and answering the question, what do you have for breakfast? Bread. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Emperatriz, what do you have for breakfast? Bread, eggs, eh, coffee. Okay, now you ask the question, Emperatriz, to Stanley. What did you have for breakfast? Um, eggs, beans, um, orange juice. Orange juice, juice, orange, orange juice. juice, 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 mm -hmm. um, with butter. Okay, very well. Now you, Stanley, ask the question to Richard. Richard, hmm. what do you have for breakfast? Uh, eggs, coffee, mm. Tort tortillas. 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 Uh -huh. You pronounce it with one L, tortillas. Okay, very tortillas. well. Now, please repeat after me. Like eggs. Rice. Eggs. 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 Bacon. 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 Toast with butter. Toast, Toast with butter. With butter. Orange, juice. Orange, Orange juice. Orange juice. Coffee. 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 Jam jelly. Jam, Jam jelly. 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 Fish. Eso que es, fish. Fish. Jam Fish. Jam jelly. Okay. Uh -huh. fish. fish. Rice. Rice. Fish. Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Green tea. Green tea. Miren, por eso ellos no son gordos. They have green tea. Pickles, los pepinillos, soup, no rice, sé. and fish. Pero ya vamos a hablar fish, de nuestra pecado. dieta real, ¿verdad? De los jóvenes, lo que comen uh, for breakfast. Mexico, okay, repeat after so me. Eggs, 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 beans, beans, beans tortillas, tortillas, fresh fruit, fresh fruit, fruit sweet bread, sweet, sweet bread, 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 coffee with milk. Coffee, coffee with milk. milk. Now, class, this question is very important. 
what else do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué más se come en el desayuno en nuestro país o ustedes o su familia? Okay. What else chocolate. do you have for breakfast? Ah, you may say chocolate. And what else? Mm -hmm. Think about two more things, but we don't have to repeat the items. Pero no tenemos que repetir lo que vamos a decir, okay? So here we go. Uh, Ricardo, what else do you have for breakfast? Dos cositas más que puede comer en el desayuno. Queso, crema. Ok. Uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Ajá. ¿Cuál eh, es? Aguacate. Ah, avocado. En avocado. Ya. Yeah. Very well. Excellent. Avocado. Eh, ok. Eh, let's see. Stanley. What else do you have for breakfast? Pero no van a mencionar lo que ya mencionaron los compañeros. Think about it. Okay, okay. Uh, bread, friends. You say biscuit. Biscuit is the French. Pupusas. En pupusas, that's it. Very well. Uh, <laughs> Emperatriz, two more things. What else do you have for breakfast? Tacos. For breakfast, tacos. Yes. yes. Okay. Tacos. What else? Uh -huh. One more thing. Una cosita más que puede desayunar. You said at the beginning, Miss. Dijo la bebida al principio. Sí, el chocolate. 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 Okay, chocolate, chocolate and tacos. Eh, maybe, Carlos, do you have a potential answer, Carlos Quintanilla? What else do you have for breakfast? Mention two things that people in El Salvador can have for breakfast. The microphone, Carlos. Tamales. Tamales, excellent. One more thing, another thing. Uh, bread. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bread or maybe uh, omelette. Yes. Okay, yeah. very well. Great, there are many things, but usually notice that in Japan, people don't uh, drink uh, cold. Uh, they don't have cold drinks. Acá ellos no comen... Eh, Cosas frías, miren, de vida fría, como nosotros. Yes, that's why they, maybe they are more, uh, they are healthier than Latin American people, yeah? Because they only have, imagine that for breakfast they have soup, green tea, yeah? They don't have coffee or cold Coke, Coca-Cola bien fría. Many people, yeah, in El Salvador. Ok, now let's continue. Fish for breakfast. Pescado para el desayuno. Fish for breakfast. Then we have, listen and practice. Sarah and Kumiko. So here we go. I'm going to mute you. Sarah says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Soup. Si usted dice soap, es jabón. Soup. Soup. Forget about the O. Soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. For no decir, that's strange, okay? That's interesting. Look at her face. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things, okay? Now I'm going to ask Ricardo and Stanley. Begin reading, please. Uh, you start, Ricardo. And okay. continues Stanley. One, two, three. Please begin. Let's have brain fans girl on some Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, right, and soap. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we had a salad too, and we always have green tea. 
Wells, I never eat fit for brave fans, but I like to renew dicks. But I like to try new things. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Now let's see Emperatriz and let's see maybe Stanley. Okay. Okay, okay begin. Let's have prefer sugar on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we had a salad too, and we always had green tea. Well, I need. Eat fish for breakfast, but I need to three me thing. Okay, listen to me. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish rice and soup fish for breakfast that's interesting interesting the stress goes at the beginning eh, la fuerza de voz al principio interesting that's interesting sometimes we have a salad too and we always have green tea well i never eat fish for breakfast but i like to try new things try intentar probar okay yes we are about to finish Emperatriz. Okay. okay now here we go over the adverse of frequency this is the grammar topic in some books you're going to find them as frequency words or adverse of frequency Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Los adverbios de frecuencia nos indican qué es lo que nosotros hacemos con un porcentaje de frecuencia. Always, siempre. Usually, usualmente. Often, a menudo, con frecuencia. Sometimes, algunas veces, tiene el 50% de frecuencia. Hardly ever, casi nunca. Never, zero. Ok. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. So I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Here we go. Uh, Ricardo, do you ever have chicken for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Chicken for breakfast. Come and take. Come and take. Come yeah, uh, yes, sometimes, yes, I, uh huh, I, uh, sometimes I do, Tomen. yes, sometimes, some, some, sometimes, some, no, sometimes, 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 I do, uh -huh. excellent, that's it, sometimes I do. Now, uh, Stanley, <laughs> Stanley, hello, Stanley, do hey. you ever have, uh, do you ever have isote flour for breakfast? Isote flour. Flor de isote. No, I never do. No, I okay. never do. Okay. I don't like it. I, I hate it. You say I hate isote flour. <laughs> to eat isote flour, okay? Emperatriz, are you there? Sí, bien. Okay, Emperatriz, do sí. you ever have jalapeño pupusas for breakfast? Do you uh, ever... No, no, I never do. Okay, very well. Carlos, Quinta, Carlos Quintanilla. Carlos Quintanilla, one question for you. Do you ever have fish pupusas for breakfast? Do you ever uh, have fish pupusas for breakfast? No. I never do. No, I never do. Okay? I never do. No, I never do. 
Now, what we're going to do, class, is that we're going to put the adverbs in the correct place, then practice with a partner. So here we go. What do you usually have for breakfast? Yes, that's it. Usually needs to go after you. Now, often. Well, I have coffee, cereal, and juice. Where do you think this word often must be? Well, I... ¿Dónde tendrá que ir esa palabra often? Well, often I have, or I often have, or I have often coffee, or I have coffee, often cereal and juice. Where do you think the word often should be? If we have, what do you usually have for breakfast? Después del how. Mm -mm. Before. And then we say, well, I mm, often have. ¿Por qué? Porque el adverbio siempre va antes del verbo principal, excepto cuando el verbo principal es el verbo to be. Cuando el verbo principal es el verbo to be, nosotros agregamos el adverbio de frecuencia o la frequency word después del verbo to be. ¿Está claro? Entonces, ahí debemos identificar si va el verbo to be, va después del verbo to be. ¿Sí? Pero si no, va antes del verbo. And then, if I ask you, do you eat breakfast at work ever? That word ever, where should it be? ¿Dónde do you ever eat? Excellent. Great. ¿Ok? Do you ever, do you ever eat, and then you continue, we end the question mark, yeah? But I'm going to move it right here, okay? Because it has to be, do you, do you ever eat, blah, 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 yes? Yes. This is the correct, keep in mind that simple tip. Si usted identifica en la oración el verbo to be, ah, entonces después de ese verbo usted agrega el ad, adverbio de frecuencia, ¿ok? If there is no verb to be before the main verb, antes del verbo principal entonces. And then in letter B, I have breakfast at my desk sometimes. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Excellent. Then you have I sometimes have breakfast and then you continue yeah because it is a simple sentence and then the other question do you eat rice for breakfast usually where do we need to insert the word usually do you usually eat rice for breakfast That's correct, Miss. Do you usually eat rice? Eat rice, and then you continue because I don't have a space here. Yeah. Ah, but it remember it must begin with capital letter at the beginning. Okay. Oh my goodness! What what happened here? ¿Y qué pasó aquí? No, I cannot modify. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, the last one. It is about hardly ever. I have rice, hardly ever, casi nunca. No, I... I hardly ever have rice. No, I hardly ever have rice. Okay. No, I hardly ever have rice.
No, I hardly ever have rice. And now this is for you to do it. You are going to unscramble these sentences, okay? In letter B, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. Remember always, if it is not a question, the subject of the sentence. I never. Mm, but you have, uh, in which one are you? In number two, that should be I. Ba, ba, ba. I hardly ever. I hardly it. ever. It. It's not. Snacks. At work. I, at work. Very well. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I'm going to diminish this. Okay. And then let's continue with the next one. I sometimes eat. Mm -hmm. I sometimes, sometimes eat, eat pasta for dinner. Pasta for dinner. Great. And the next one. Mm -hmm. I often have okay. I often have have uh, dinner with dinner. family. Excellent dinner with my family. <laughs> Very well. I often have dinner with my family, and then you are there. You are okay. We have, I never have breakfast on weekends. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. I often have dinner with my family. Okay. Questions about this? Okay, you tell me when we can continue with the other activity. Shall we continue class or not yet? Podemos continuar o aún no? Yes. Okay, let's go over. Nice teacher. Thank you. And here, okay. So here we're going to be asking questions and you use your imagination, okay? Here we go. The mealtime habits, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I start asking, you may say, uh, do you usually eat blah, blah uh, for breakfast, for lunch, or for dinner? Yeah, you use your imagination. Here we go. I'm going to start asking you the questions. Okay, Stanley. Stanley, okay. do you usually eat chocolate for a uh, drink? Drink, porque es beber, no comer. Do you usually drink uh, chocolate for breakfast? 
Yes, I no. do or no, I don't. Or no, sometimes I don't. never, I never. No, never. I never. I never, no, I never do. Okay, no. now you ask a question number two. What time do you usually eat? Blah, blah. What time uh, do you usually eat? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? ¿A qué hora? Desayuna, almuerza, o cena. And you say the name of the classmate. Y dice el nombre del compañero a contestar. Okay. Um, the question goes to? Emperatriz. Okay, sí, Emperatriz. What time do you usually eat? It's a no, but breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Ah, eat uh, lunch. Lunch. Um, 1 p.m. I usually, I usually uh, eat, eat uh, 1 p.m. Eat Alumna. lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, now Emperatriz, you ask question number three to Ricardo. Do you ever eat meat for, meat carne, okay? Do you ever eat meat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Okay. Ask the question to Ricardo. Do you ever eat meat for dinner? Uh, okay, Ricardo. Dinner, I... Always, sometimes, I never... Have... Los... No, do you ever eat you have... meat, come carne for dinner? No. No, I never do. I know never. Okay, now and you ask question number four oh, to no, Carlos I, Luis. I, you you ask question, question number four. Carlos, do you never do you to, ever do you ever do you ever go to a restaurant for dinner? <laughs> Yes, I I think uh, that. Yes, I do. No, no, no. Okay. Now yes, I'm going to uh, Carlos Quintanilla. Ask question number five. What do you usually drink for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? You choose the the the, the time. Okay, the meal. Question number five. Ask the question to Emperatriz. Emperatriz. What do you usually drink for lunch? Emperatriz, what do you usually drink for lunch? Hello, Emperatriz, are you there? Emperatriz, ¿está por ahí? Sí, jugo. Juice. 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 Okay. Now... Uh, Emperatriz, ask Stanley question number six. What is something you never eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Y le menciona lo que usted cree que probablemente okay. él never okay, drink. No, never eat. It's, uh -huh. What is something you never eat a cereal dinner? For dinner. Okay. For dinner. Stanley, what is something you never eat for dinner? I never eat um uh, feet for, for dinner. dinner. Okay. Now, uh, Ricardo, what is something you never eat for dinner? Microphone. I never eat um Pacayas. Okay, great. Excellent. Uh, Carlos, what is something you never eat for lunch? What is something you never eat for lunch? Carlos? White. Why repeat? What is something you never eat for lunch? Algo que nunca comen el almuerzo. Uh, pupusa. Pupusas. Okay, great. Excellent. And now here you have. Okay, on 
New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck. Look at this. For good luck in the new year. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. You know tangerines? Mandarinas. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods and, and begin again like years. That is why they eat that. And then it is a Jewish custom. Um, judíos, okay? It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat basilopita bread with a coin inside, con una moneda dentro, with a coin inside. Here is the coin. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. So this is, these are like kind of rituals for new year, yeah? And then we continue. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. This is ours, yes? This is our tradition, okay? Uh, on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes for strength in the new year and some americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with color greens rice with color greens the black eyed peas are like coins and greens are like dollars so here let's correct vamos a corregir estas oraciones some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round like years, right? Because they begin and one after the other. Some Jewish people eat apples with candy for a sweet new year. Is that correct or incorrect? Where is the mistake about Jewish? Let's read, okay? It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. And here in the sentence we have, some Jewish people eat apples with candy for a sweet new year. What is the word that we need to change? Candy for the honey. Okay. And honey. we write honey. Very well. Honey. Only that. Yes. For a sweet new year. Greeks eat basilopita bread with beans inside. Frijoles le ponen adentro. Yes. What? No. Which is the missing word? Una moneda. Coin, okay. Coin. The coin. A coin. Then we eliminate with beans and we write a coin. Because they have a coin inside. In Europe, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Okay. Where do they no. eat? Uh -huh. In America. In in Spain. Spain, in Spain, in Spain and Latin America. Spain. In Spain and in Latin America. And uh, some Latin American countries. Yeah. Uy. Now, the Japanese eat chocolate cake for strength in the new year. What do no. they eat? What rice, do they eat? Rice, 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 rice cake. cake. Okay, I'm going to write here rice cakes. Rice cake. eh, pastelito de arroz, rice cakes. And then number six, some Americans eat black eyed peas. Black eyed peas are like dollars. No, no, no. no. Black like cones. Are like. Coins. Like coins. Coins, like coins, okay, like coins. Very well, okay. So that's it. And now the question is, before we finish, do you eat anything special on your year, on your year's day for good luck? What is the ritual that you practice class for new year's uh, day or for new year's eve? ¿Cuál es el ritual que practican ustedes? Uh -huh. Ajá. Nothing. Nothing. Ninguno. Ajá. 
You don't eat the 12 uh, grapes. No se comen no. las 12 uvas. No. 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 You don't wear a special color. No. no. Un color especial. No. No. No, no rituals. No. 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 Nothing. Okay. Because those are traditions and some people believe, right? Okay, class, listen. I expect that all of you are over with the works in the platform. Espero que todos hayan terminado su trabajo en la plataforma. Voy a actualizar después de la clase nuevamente. And it was a real pleasure to work with you. Unfortunately, some of you were not able at 100% to be in the class, okay? But I really appreciate your um, responsibility, your persistence, and your work on the platform. So I wish you the best. Again, it was a real pleasure to work with you and continue studying because the benefit is for you and your families, okay? Never stop. Never stop learning, okay? Because okay. life is changing Thank you. every day. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. God bless you. Okay. Thank you very much, bye. teacher. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye-bye, Imperatriz. Bye-bye.